Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome to my new channel. So today I think I'm going to do something a little bit different and uh, show you guys what's in my room, what it looks like, and um, what is in a typical neat room or I guess in this case my room. So uh, here we go. Um, so, firstly, here uh, you have my bed, and normally I tend to make it up when I do my videos, so my room looks a lot neater and more presentable and more um, aesthetically pleasing, but um, I guess for this video, I decided not to uh, fold the sheets and uh, make it that way because I wanted to give people a more uh, realistic um, view of what my room looks like when I'm um, living in it throughout the day. And here is my bed from far away. You can clearly see that the sheets are um, folded up, I mean scrunched up and very unorganized. Um, sometimes I'll fold them right after I get up, but that usually seldom happens, and it has been happening less and less the longer I've become neat. So I wonder if that's a sign of my of my brain uh, degrading, or me just become lazy. Me just becoming lazier, but yeah. Um, anyways, over here we have my um, laundry basket, and I guess typically. Um, this is where you would put dirty laundry, but actually most of this laundry is clean. And what usually happens is I just, I'm too lazy to put my clothes back where they belong, even though I don't usually wear much apart from stuff that I wear indoors. So, um, I usually just keep all my clean clothes that I've folded and washed in the laundry basket. And I just chuck whatever laundry I have into this, I mean, dirty clothes I have into this laundry pile over here. And yeah, there's usually a pile in the corner of my desk that just grows and grows and grows in size until I eventually have to wash everything because, um, well, though it's not smelly, it just, I don't know, makes my room look extremely cluttered. And I feel like the more cluttered my room is, the less productive I become if I could even be productive as a neat. But anyways, I mean, I have goals and stuff that I kind of want to achieve in my neatdom, but I just never end up getting to them. And that's especially true when my room is disorganized with a stupid laundry pile, because I think it really just symbolizes the disorganized state of my mind. Um, and here in this exhibit, we have the uh iphone tripod um this i got off of amazon for pretty cheap um i think it was around uh, 20 bucks and you can basically mount the phone on it by um lifting the spring mechanism here and um it locks it in pretty good and you can also adjust what angle it points at by unloosening this um screw and yeah um so here we have a vent and this is where i think this is where all the dirty air gets sucked into the vent to be re-filtered and redis redistributed throughout the house there's a vent on my ceiling that um yeah pumps clean air in air conditioner air, heated air because we have central heating Fuck, I'm gonna dox myself by saying that. But anyways, um, yeah, and over here we have a tennis ball. And you might be wondering, what exactly do I do with this soft, squishy, furry tennis ball? Ooh. Um, well, don't worry guys. I assure you, I don't do anything um, suspect with this tennis ball apart from rubbing it all over my body to uh, massage my muscles. Actually, what I do with this is I 
put it up against the wall and I press um, various parts of my body against it. And although that probably sounds kind of wrong, um, it really is actually a form of self-massaging because tennis balls are nice and firm and they help um, loosen up muscle knots. And unfortunately, I have a lot of muscle knots in my body that just uh, hurt and um, from I guess from sitting down all day or um, overexerting myself when I try to exercise at home. And yeah, so this is my one of my main ways of relieving myself. And when I say that, I don't mean busting a fat nut. Anyways, I'll drop that here. And oh yeah, sometimes I fucking uh, chuck it against the wall like that and practice coordination with my left hand, but I don't know, Just that's just one of the many useless skills I have as a neat. Uh, over here, we have the light switch. Um, and here we have a wireless charger, which doesn't work because, um, I don't know, every time I try and charge my phone on it, it just, my phone overheats and the battery is in charge. And I feel like using this will just destroy my phone. So I'm probably only going to use it to charge this, which is, um, my AirPods. And by now you can probably tell by watching this, that I am a lucky little shit. And how I got this was by trading in my old phone, which was actually a iPhone um, 8. Uh, they actually gave quite a bit of money for it, uh, the um, service, provi service provider. So um, yeah, with that trade-in money, I was able to get um, some AirPods. And these are probably really nice, but I guess I'll talk about this thing over here, which is not what I used to lube myself up, but it's lip balm. It's a different type of Vaseline. And here is another lip balm that I don't like. And this is um, a flashlight, which I think probably doesn't have a lot of battery in it. I just keep it in case the lights ever go out. And yeah, you can see it flickering. So it's basically useless. Probably have to throw it away. Um, over on this side, we have the supplement corner. And yeah, um, this is where I take all my supplements. As someone alerted me recently, um, actually, never mind, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, yeah, these are my supplements. Um, I take them every day, and I feel like they help me a lot with I don't know just my physical and mental health so hopefully I'll be able to take these for the foreseeable future and this is an this is an extension cord which I pretty much never use and I don't know should I show you what's in these cabinets no because the video is getting pretty long and here we have this little uh shelf area I mean drawer area and here is where i was supposed to keep all my clean clothes but i'm just too lazy to put them inside because i'm a lazy motherfucker and on top of that we have this webcam that i plan to use to a uh, stream which i never got to because well you probably know the reason why i have this um cologne which I put on when I go out in public because, well, to smell nice for the ladies, even though I'm pretty much a fucking uh, mong and no girls want to talk to me because of my shit personality and ugly face. Um, here we have my Nintendo Switch, one of my biggest copes. Um, and yeah, it's a Switch Lite. I actually really like it because just the screen itself, um, condensing that 720p like graphical, uh, 720p uh, gra game graphics into a small screen and 
allowing it to be portable it really just makes it feel like a premium device and yeah um i mostly just play smash bros ultimate and recent more recently animal crossing and yeah hopefully i'll be able to get more games um by uh, with i guess through like birthday gifts and stuff but yeah and here we have some pants which i usually wear when i go outside but i never haven't been wearing a lot because well i am never outside these don't really fit me the way i want them to and i have my uh shoes at the bottom and these are probably some of my nicest possessions and yeah um i wish i had more shoes i actually am really into uh the whole like collecting shoes thing but i just never have the money and i feel kind of embarrassed to uh ask for money to buy shoes and also i don't think my parents are really willing um now we get to the uh the good stuff here we have my my overall setup where i do i spend most of my time and yeah um here we have my keyboard and this is what i primarily use to make music i mean no shit sherlock huh but um yeah um it's a cheap keyboard um it doesn't really work the way i wanted to because the keys are way too sensitive but i mean it does its job so i can't really complain and it looks kind of nice so yeah here we have a microphone which um I guess you're probably wondering why I don't use it to record audio, and that's because it has the shrillest sounding pickup on it. So I don't know the, I don't know the right terms to describe how it um, records sound, but just anything it records sounds really bright and harsh and shrill and basically gives my ears cancer. So I pretty much just put it there on display to make it seem as if I'm a accomplished musician which is actually what i want to be but i never um, get to achieving because i'm so lazy and procrastinate and waste time and yeah um that's that um this is probably one of the most important pieces of furniture as a neat and that's my chair and unfortunately this is this chair is probably over almost 20 years old and it is a piece of shit it is made out of hardwood and the bottom is hard as fuck and well every time i sit on it it um it gives me it gives my back aids and i'm pretty sure sitting in chairs like this for prolonged periods of time is why most neats end up having Things like scoliosis, lordosis, and back problems because, well, firstly, I just end up slouching on I, I end up slouching on it anyways because um, I don't know I just can never get myself to uh, practice good posture and also I don't know as you can probably tell by now it's a really uncomfortable chair and yeah but this is where I do most of my sitting when I'm spending time at my most important possession, my um, Mac. And this, at this point, you can probably tell that I'm a, or you can probably confirm that I'm a lucky son of a bitch. Um, I feel kind of ashamed. Um, I don't feel like I deserve this stuff. Um, well, I guess part of me does. Part of me is really happy that I'm Part of me feels really blessed that I have access to this computer. I mean, though it's not the most powerful computer and it's already kind of old, but I mean, it looks really fancy. Like I fuck with the aesthetics of it. And um, I really like the design that um, whatever Tim Cook or Steve Jobs put into this machine. And yeah, um, this is where I spend most of my time, which um, involves, I don't know, watching youtube um which is what i spend 90 percent of my time on just fucking watching youtube videos random shit um 
And yeah, playing games, I guess, and reading manga, and yeah, I guess making music too. It's what I do sometimes, but not as much as I'd like. And here we have a glass of water. And yeah, so that is my room tour. Hopefully, if I ever get a chance to get a better camera, I can do this room tour again and maybe show you what's inside my secret uh, drawers, bedside drawers. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah. We have a trash can, which usually stays pretty empty. Um, if you're wondering if I deposit my, my fat tissues in there, um, you would be gravely mistaken because I have better ways of disposing that and I'm not stupid enough to I'm not stupid enough to throw that stuff inside there when I know my parents could uh come in my room at any moment to I don't know do whatever because this is actually where the uh water pump is this is my wardrobe by the way uh nothing fancy full of cheap shit from H&M and yeah, and uh, I guess Uniqlo, which is, I guess, a good default brand. And yeah, um, hmm, I don't know what else to say. We have some cough syrup, I some Asian cough syrup. And then I think this was, uh, I forgot to mention this in my coronavirus videos, but this is probably one of the key reasons why I beat the infection. Um, here we have some tech hard drives. Most of this stuff is supposed to be for my quote unquote music career, which I was hoping to, uh, well, I was hoping to, to become some famous, uh, producer, but sadly that never turned out because I'm lazy as fuck. And I just end up procrastinating all the time and letting my ambitions slowly, um, I don't know, fade away in my laziness and um, circle the drain into non-existence. And I mean, I don't know, it's not over yet, but it's looking like it pretty soon. Uh, that's some back ointment, by the way, because I have back and shoulder pain. And that's my door, coat hanger. Uh, my my beater jacket that I wear indoors because it's cold as fuck and yeah that was oh yeah that's my backpack that I used to uh, use back when I was a productive normie going to university wow so many stories I can tell about how much of a fucking failure I am I guess that's good because I'll have lots of content for my Dgen channel where I just talk about how my life has descended to this point and how much of a Dgen I am. Uh, video is 18 minutes long. Um, if you've liked what you've seen so far, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. And um, yeah, anyways, peace out.